Good morning, good morning. Caught me in the midst of a yawn. Good morning, great people of Greater St. Paul. I praise God for keeping you last night as you slept and slumbered. Amen. He is a good God. I want to read in your hearing Psalm chapter 8. It's only uh, nine verses. Amen. And thus says the word of God, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Amen. You know, that's one of my favorite verses. How excellent ah, is your name in all the earth. Let us pray. O oh Lord, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul. Ah. My Savior, God, to thee, how great thou art. God, you truly are great. And we rise this morning to say we love you. We adore you. We magnify you this morning, O oh God. For you are a holy God. You are a divine God. You are a loving God. You are a compassionate God. Lord God, you dispense mercy and grace when it's not deserved or earned. Hallelujah, God. You forgive us. When we are unforgivable, you love us even when we're unlovable. You continue to keep us even when we stray away from you. Hallelujah, God. You are a good God. And so we rise in awe of you. We rise in awe of you this morning. We marvel at the mighty works of your hands. Wherever we look, as we go through this day, the birds, the trees, hallelujah, God, uh, the nature, your nature, your creation, your created thing. Hallelujah, God. We are just in awe. We are in awe, Lord God. You are the creator of the ends of the earth. You are mindful of us, even in our perfect imperfection, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are uh, uh, Jehovah Jireh. You provide for us. You protect us. You prosper us. And we love you this morning. Hallelujah, God. Ah, we love you, God. We love you with our whole hearts this morning, with our whole mind this morning. Hallelujah, God. With our innermost being, because you you took the time to raise us up this morning. Hallelujah, God. We are so blessed and grateful to be once again on this side of the earth. You didn't have to do it. Huh? You didn't have to do it, God, but you did it. Huh? You did it because we're not done. Hallelujah. You still have plans and purpose for us, for us individually and collectively, and so we thank you. Hallelujah, God. And I rise to say thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for these great people, the great people of Greater St. Paul. I thank you that you handpicked them, each and every one of them. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, for touching their hearts and minds uh, uh, towards this body, towards this body of believers, and towards you, God, and your son. Hallelujah the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, God. I pray that on today you will stretch these thy people all the more, huh? that they'll seek to satisfy their hunger and thirst after your righteousness, Lord God. Hallelujah. Push those who are complacent and stagnant, God. Uh, put people in their path today that are helping encourage them to be the best versions of themselves for 
mightily impacting your kingdom, Lord God. Ah, uh, uh, we need you. We all in each need you. Doc. We all in each need you all day, every day, God. Uh, we need your wisdom. We we need your love. We we need you, God. Hallelujah. I pray today they'll receive new insight about your heavenly kingdom, about your holy kingdom, hallelujah, about your powerful kingdom, that their love for you and and your kingdom will grow all the more deeper today, that they'll be resound and resolute in their commitment and faith in you, Father God, hallelujah, that they'll show excitement for this brand new day, a new day that many people did not receive, hallelujah, God, I pray that as they walk through this day, It'll be with a contrite heart. It'll be with a loving heart. It'll be with a giving heart. Hallelujah. Uh, that they'll walk through this day with joy about their God, with the blessed assurance, hallelujah, that nothing in this world could ever replace their God. Uh, nothing worldly is worth falling away from their God or falling away from the fold. Hallelujah, God. I lift them all in each up to you today for strength. Some people are battling in the valley, God. I lift them up for strength to endure those valleys. Some are going through tests and trials. I lift them up for strength to overcome those tests and trials, to pass those tests and to pass those trials. Hallelujah, God. Knowing that you handpicked them all in each to be this particular body of believers. Hallelujah, God. Let them see that there is a plan and a purpose, uh, even for those testing, even for the time in the valley, even for their trials and tribulation, Lord God. And I plead the very blood of Jesus over all their endeavors and efforts today, God. I pray that they'll, they'll only know victory today. Hallelujah, that they'll realize resolve for every situation or issue that might be causing them to become complacent and stagnant. Hallelujah. Let them know that there is more. Christ said that he came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. That starts here. That starts now and goes on into the next life. Hallelujah. I pray that uh, those that uh, have issues that might cause them to be complacent and, and growing in, in the knowledge of your word, God, will be surpassed today. Hallelujah. That they'll be set free from that stagnation and they'll deep dive. Hallelujah. Into your word, into the power of your word, that they'll have new revelation, new perspectives, new understanding. Hallelujah, God. Uh, hallelujah. I pray that you'll release each one that, that, that might be stuck in a stronghold today, Lord, that you'll You'll fill them with the confidence in Christ and in his people to support, to lift, and to relieve, hallelujah, God, to embrace, hallelujah, God, that they'll find comfort in the in the arms of the brethren, in the confidence of the brethren uh, for the cause of Christ, hallelujah, God. I'm praying that the widows and widowers and all those who mourn the loss of a loved one uh, 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 are comforted today, God. Remind them, Lord God, what your word says, that we are, we, we are not those that have no hope. We're not supposed to be walking around like people without hope because we believe in the power of the blood of Jesus to resurrect. And remind them that this earth is not our glass ceiling and that this life is worth living in order to fully partake of the next. Hallelujah, God. Lord God, I'm praying for those who are suffering and, and having internal battles, battles in their marriages, battles in their, in their family dynamics, battles on their job, battles, hallelujah, God, in, in, in their, even in their volunteering, God. Remind them that every battle belongs to you. Every battle belongs to you. And although you fully expect them to fight, huh, Hallelujah. I pray that they will fight knowing that that battle is yours. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. I'm praying for those who live with unforgiveness, those with hardened hearts towards their brethren. Lord God, remind them, Jesus said, his family were those who love God. I pray that they'll understand that Christ is the head of the church and he's coming back for the church, a church without stain, spot, or wrinkle. Hallelujah, God. He's coming back for the united church or the church united for his people, the ones who are called by his name. Hallelujah, God. And I pray that today you will infect them all and each with just unspeakable joy, 
not not uncomprehensible joy, God. They can't even explain it. Hallelujah. That you'll envelop them all in each in your peace today. That peace that is beyond all human understanding, God. That they'll become content in whatever state that 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 they find themselves in because they know that they know that they know her, that you are Lord of all. That all of this business here is temporary, that all their situations are temporary, that time in the wilderness, that time in the valley is just temporary. God, remind them that they need to be learning and gleaming something from whatever situation they're in, hallelujah, that you're simply preparing them for their next level, for their next elevation, hallelujah, God, because every wrong ah, goes higher and higher. Have them look for why they're there, hallelujah, God and not get bogged down in, in, in worldly emotion or uh, evil emotions of uh, despondentness or, or depression or woe is me, pity parties, hallelujah, God, but have, have, have affect them with your joy in whatever state they're in, God. Because you are the Lord of every issue. Huh? You're the Lord of every tribulation, every stronghold, every mountain, every obstacle, every blockage. Huh? You are Lord of all. And I pray that today those persons will seek your holy face, huh? that they'll reassure themselves with your word, that they'll stand on your holy word, Lord God. And so whisper a mighty word in their hearts today, God. Hallelujah. Remind them that you are no respect of person, huh? that you only love them all because you simply love them each, huh? that you made them each uniquely and wonderfully, that you designed a purpose and plan specifically for them individually that fit this body collectively so that we all move on one accord as one body, hallelujah, so that as a people, hallelujah, we'll mightily impact uh, those in the body as well as the community at large. Lord God, help us. Help us, Lord, to feed those who are hungry. Help us, Lord, as a collective body to clothe those who are naked. Help us, Lord God, to house those who are homeless. Hallelujah. It is your will uh, uh, that we do your will. Hallelujah. It is your will that we follow your ways. Hallelujah, God, that we do this your way, God. And so we wait for instruction. We wait for opportunity, God. And we just we just pray that you prepare us, that you continue to equip us uh, for that mighty impacting of the community and the holy kingdom. Hallelujah, God. I pray that you'll walk hand in hand with these our people today, with them all in each, that their spirits would be so incredibly sensitive to your presence today that they feel you moving and working from the inside out. Uh, that 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 no one feels loneliness today. That no one feels rejection today. That no one feels dismissed or overlooked today. Huh? But that that they feel you and see your movement all around them today. That there's evidence. Hallelujah, God, huh? that you are Lord of all. So so that they feel how important they are to you, God. Hallelujah. Move mightily on their behalf today. I plead with you, Father, and I pray that that they'll 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 bless you. They'll bless you all day with your name continually in their mouths, that they'll speak of you as they travel throughout this day, that they'll speak of your goodness and greatness, that they'll yearn to tell people who may not know about you all about you. Hallelujah, God, that they'll be givers of your mercy and grace today, that they'll be doers and not merely hearers today, God. Walk with them today, Lord. Bless them beyond measure today. Bless them as they rise and as they rest. Bless them, hallelujah, God, as they work. Bless them on their journeys to and fro, God. Bless their homes and their possessions today, God. Bless their efforts and their endeavors today, God. Keep them in your perfect peace. Keep them from all manner of evil, all manner of temptation, all manner of surrendering to the things of this world, God. We declare you to be our God the one and only true living God, the God that is high but is still mindful of those of us who are below her. And for that, we proudly claim and profess you, you alone, to be our God. And we'll be careful as we continue throughout this day to give you every honor, every grace, every glory, and every praise. Hallelujah, God. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that I pray. And every good and glad heart said, 
Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, I would just reiterate the text that I sent out last night uh, or yesterday sometime today that we're looking for volunteers for Sister, I like to say our beloved Sister Val, uh, homegoing. We need food contributions. We did get a lot, uh, uh, some response, and I thank you for that. Praise God. But we also need volunteers to help pack those plates because this is a to-go repast for the public. All right. Um, I love you all because I love you each. Bye.